We built a space for four lifeboats um, on the on the boat deck. Uh, there were four lifeboats at the front of the of the ship and four lifeboats at the back. We built a set which we can turn around so it looks like the front and the back of the ship and the port and the starboard of the ship. So we built um, a section which is about uh, 50 meters long, um, which is obviously not the full length of the ship. But as I say, we've extended that with visual effects and with perspective sets. I think the the principle of this project, uh, in terms of its look, was to to be as accurate as we could within the with I suppose within the confines of what was available to us. So the designer Rob Harris built as much boat as he possibly could, uh, and built it with as much detail and correct detail as he could. Yeah, building our set has um, you know has been evolving thing I think since um, November last year, where Rob Harris was on a kind of part-time basis, coming up with concepts of how to, the challenges of building an interior of the Titanic, well, interior exterior of the Titanic on a, on a stage in the middle of Budapest. Um, the actual, uh, the drawings kind of took place sort of between, well, the middle of January to the middle of February, and then we started building. We did want it to be a completely believable, real account of what this it was like and what the, being on board it was like and what it was like when it started to go down and for that you must get the details right. There's a lot of um, information about you know the patterns on the china, the patterns on the uh, on the lino, um, how the carpets were. Window sizes, porthole sizes, pipe work, engine rooms. Big passageways and hallways and that great attention to detail. We try to match as accurate as we can the, all the fittings on the ship. When you walk on the set and you see everybody dressed in the costumes, it's, it's very conducive. You don't feel like you have to sort of conjure much up. The end sequence involves lots of people in lifeboats, so we had to design and build a, an indoor um, filming tank on one of the stages in, uh, in Stern Studios. It, it seemed like a really good idea because basically you've got this lot of water and you've got our lifeboats and we get on film. But I don't think any of us expected to spend four days in a wetsuit. Uh, we've had to make special preparations for submerging part of the set on uh, sliding mechanisms and tilting mechanisms to get, uh, get it to go underwater. It's very black and dark, but it gives you a very good sense of how scary it would have been to be in the middle of the act and not being able to see a single thing, after, especially after the Titanic has gone down. You have zero, no points of reference whatsoever. So that was reasonably complicated to plan that out and get that built. Um, water filtration and heating and wave machines and it turned out very well. It's, I think it's now the biggest indoor tank in, in mainland Europe. 